episode of my point through garage today we are doing two videos at the same time so you are watching now the 10 things that we love about our bronco yes. and uh it may be 10 and it may be 12 and it may be 50 we didn't really count them but there's a lot and some of them are big and some of them are small but at the same time we have another video which is the 10 things that we hate about our bronco and it's not really things that we hate there are some things we hate and we'll give you a level of hate or just annoyance uh, but they're definitely things that either Ford should take a look at for the 2023 models uh, or uh, they should at least do some sort of uh, market analysis on it uh, because we feel like it should be changed but let's get to the 10 things that we love about our Bronco let's go the first by far number one thing we love is the aesthetics I mean just look at this thing it is gorgeous I don't know that there is a line on the Bronco that we don't like. No. And of course, we start with the halo running lights. Now, most of the vehicles do have the halo. Uh, we have the bar and the halo. But the halo running lights, being the owners of two classic Broncos, that's a throwback and we like that. The modular bumpers, uh, I think, make it look very tough. And it gives us the ability when we do go wheeling up in the high country that we can pull the caps off and get a little bit more wheel clearance. But I think from a look perspective, I think it looks awesome. These fender flares are very aesthetically pleasing on this vehicle. They remind me a lot of the Raptor. And you know, as far as aesthetics go, a lot of people are changing these wheels out immediately. And a lot of it, the reason is because you don't want to have your Bronco look like everybody else's Bronco. But as far as wheels go, I think Ford hit it out of the park with these. I really like these wheels. I don't know if I'm going to change them. I may, but I really like them. Uh, most stock wheels I do not like. Uh, the Raptor stock wheels, do not like them. These stock wheels, awesome. Best part about them, the Bronco in the middle. <laughs> and lastly, the tail lights. I'm not a tail light fan, uh, but I'm a fan of these tail lights. I love the way that it looks. It looks like a horseshoe. Uh, this, to me, uh, makes the back of it. And I've actually got lots of pictures of the back of the vehicle because I think the back of the vehicle is every bit as good as the front of the vehicle. And overall aesthetics, when you drive anywhere in this vehicle, it garners attention no matter where you go. And I have a feeling it's going to be that way for a long time because it is just such a nice looking truck. Number two on the list is the heated steering wheel and the heated seats. On these cold Colorado mornings, let me tell you, I appreciate these so much. And Ford knocked it out of the park with the level of the heat on these seats. So there's three settings on this, but let me just tell you, no matter what you put it on, it is toasty. So the steering wheel warms up, which is awesome because again, those cold mornings, there's nothing worse. I always have really cold hands. This just heats up. It's like putting on a nice, warm, fuzzy pair of gloves. Number three, hard top and doors. I'm gonna put them in the same uh, spot because so far in the two weeks that we've owned it, uh, anytime we take the top off, we take the doors off. That's how easy it is. The top we have proven we can get done in five minutes. Uh, we have not proven yet, but I'm pretty sure we can get them off in three minutes. We're going to show that. But we can get the doors off just as fast. Uh, in fact, the doors are easier to get off than the top is just because of the rear panel. Uh, so I believe we can get the top and the doors off. We can regularly get all of that off in 10 minutes. Um, that's just dawdling around. So I'm thinking that we can get both the top and the doors off in less than seven minutes. Ford, you did a great job with this. Fourth the Ford Pass app for starting your car remotely. Now I know that a lot of you are probably used to this with other vehicles. I haven't had a new vehicle in over 30 years and obviously that didn't exist back then. Okay, go to your Ford Pass app and then a picture of your Bronco will be sitting right there. Ours is a first edition in lightning blue. And then we can actually just hit start. So you sit there and you hold the button. And here in just a second, it will start boom now the cool thing about this is you can do this anywhere where you can get a signal so you can start the car from inside like I start from inside work all the time um, and you can also lock and unlock your vehicle this way another really cool thing about this app is you go down here to vehicle hit scheduled start and then add start 
and then you can actually add like I'm gonna wake up uh, tomorrow morning and I need to get into my car at 5.40 a.m. So there I am, and if I need to repeat, I can go right over here, and I can choose uh, just weekdays, just weekends, or specific days of the week that I want to start it at that time. So really, I can have a seven day a week starting time, depending on when I'm going to be leaving, already programmed in, and all I have to get up, the car will be warm and ready to go. Uh, and then you just set your time zone, hit save, and then you're done. So I got 5.40 tomorrow morning. There's also a whole lot of other things you can do, like you can check how much fuel you have left and all the, all the uh, diagnostics of the car are gonna be on here. Ford Pass, awesome deal. Number five are the trail aids that come on the Bronco. Now, I'm a pretty analog driver, but Mandy isn't. Even though, even though I say that, I like, if you look at the dash here, I like the fact that we've got my favorite, one of my favorite features is going to be the sway bar disconnect. This sway bar disconnect when we were out wheeling the other day made all the difference in the world for me when we were wheeling. Now I've wheeled vehicles uh, where the sway bar is disconnected, so I know what that feels like, but just having this automatic button which will lock and unlock it depending on your speed when you're off road. Uh, so if you're going faster around turns, it'll lock and it'll keep the, the Bronco steady. Then when you slow down and you start going over ruts, it'll actually unlock and then you can have that ability for the Bronco to flex a little bit around the uh, trail. So this automatic feature is probably my favorite feature. And then obviously you can lock the front and the rear diff. You can also have trail turn assist here and you can turn all of this completely off if you want to. These right here make everything, when I was out wheeling the other day, this I had a, a good time with these buttons. Number six, the suspension. I mentioned that earlier on our previous video that we took it off road and it was super smooth drive for me. What makes it ride so great is this independent suspension. And boy, do I like a big shock. These Bilsteins, they keep up with me. <laughs> Number seven is the engine bay. Not a lot of people uh, say a lot about this. But I am not a fan because I work on our own vehicles. For instance, all the oil changes, everything that's done to this vehicle uh, will be done by myself unless it's under warranty. And one of the things I hate more than anything is, is pulling vanity covers off of engines to try to get to things. So this being completely open allows me to get to anything in the engine I need to get to. Uh, and I like it. I'm never gonna have the hood raised so that people can look at the engine in it. And if we had any kind of covers on them, you would not be able to see those twin spoolie Garrett turbos down there, which is I think the coolest thing about this motor. My number seven love of this vehicle is not the motor. Uh, I don't know the motor well enough to know if it's my number seven. Uh, my number seven is that there it's a naked motor. So there's nothing on the top that's gonna obscure me from being able to work on this vehicle. Number eight are the outfitter switches. Now, why would I have that in my top 10 when I don't even have any of them hooked up? The reason is that I call these ambition switches because these are ambitions for me. So having extra power that's pre-wired to, for instance, uh, a light bar that goes on the top, bars that go on the front, lighting that goes on the back, and then an auxiliary switch for power that goes up to a rooftop tent so that we can have uh, things inside the rooftop tent that, that need power, for instance, charging our phones and things like that. Uh, those are all going to be uh, on these switches. So I'm going to call these ambition switches and that's what we're using them for. Number nine, it seems like a big one. And so this is the reason why I said it could be 10 things, but it's the interior, the entire interior. There is a lot of plastic in the interior, which is normally something that people don't like. But in this vehicle, it makes it nice because it's easy to clean out. And the surfaces that are in vinyl, for instance, the seats, Although I made a comment that they're kind of Jeep J or Jeep JKE um, and maybe a little bit stiff, they actually are nice. They're multi-panel seats. They have contrasting color stitching in it to give it kind of a, a nice look. And then up here in the in the seat right here, and you probably can't see it, but there's a Bronco in there, and that's reminiscent. I had a '66 Mustang that had pony interior, and so it's a little bit nostalgic for me, but I really like it. The steering wheel, all the controls that you pretty much need for the vehicle uh, at your fingertips right here. So it makes it a lot easier when you're driving. You can just pretty much press anything here. I can even get home by pressing a button. The rear seats are nice. They do have a little bit of a recline. But just enough to make a difference. There you go. Just enough to make a difference on long trips. 
And then this for the middle, which is awesome. Then you have your cup holders. Lastly, the trunk space is pretty big on its own. However, the seats do recline forward for your Costco runs. First, flip the headrest down. Then this one goes all the way down in the middle. Pull this up and it goes all the way down. Lots of space. Number 10 is the infotainment screen. Now, this screen just happens to be the 12 inch that comes with the Lux package because we have a first edition. But even if you had the eight inch, I think it would be just as good. So come on over and let me show you. The reason why I like this screen uh, is because when you're actually in uh, on the camera's view, for instance, There's a nice big view of uh, Yeti and Denali sitting there. And you have the meter markers here, which kind of give you an idea of how far something is and, and what your attitude is when you're turning. If you turn your wheels one way or the other, you get the white marks that show you kind of where you're gonna end up. So for instance, I'm gonna end up right in the tripod there. And then when you're going forward, switch to forward here, right here, hit the camera button, Back up. And then you have, like there's a stitched view of the front. Standard view of the front. And then you have your 360 camera. Well, so on the big screen, it makes it really fun to use when you're driving, especially off-road. When we were wheeling it the other day, we had this screen on the entire time and it was awesome. All right, so those are the 10 things that we love about our Bronco. There's a lot more that we love about it, but we just kind of kept it down to 10. And then uh, also going on our channel right now are the 10 things that we hate about our Bronco, the things that we think Ford should take a look at changing for the 2023 model. And that's a wrap for my point through garage. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, if you found this at all informative or educational or even just entertaining, that would be the reason why you subscribe. And then also on the end screen coming up, you're gonna see our 10 dislikes of this Bronco. See you in the next video.